Hey YouTube, how's it going? Um, I have some really great pickups here. However, it's all for the same system because I bought a lot of, I think it was 42 PS2 games. So I'm really excited to show you all of them. And uh, I really got to get started. Um, first one, shout out uh, to one of the other, Half-Life 2 on Steam. And so I got to thank him for that. So thank you. <laughs> Alright, let's begin because I really got to get going. Okay. Star Wars Battlefront, no that one's good. Star Wars Force Unleashed, that's a good one. Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, Star Wars, played that one through already. Lego Star Wars 2. Lego Star Wars, wait, what? oh yeah, Lego Star Wars 1. I guess I put Lego Star Wars 2 before that one or something, I have no idea why. Zathur. Terry Hawks, Losing Ground. That's a fun one. Thrillville. Sucks. But hey, it, it was there. Spider-Man. Spider-Man again. Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell. That's a good one. I had that on PC when it first came out. Shadow of the Colossus. That's a really good one. I played only like five minutes of it because I knew I was going to need more time to play it. Spartan Total Warrior. Uh, that's a good one. Jet Li, Rise to Honor. That's a pretty good fighting game, actually. It's um, I bet none of you have ever heard of it. Ratatouille. Tokyo Extreme Drift Racing. That's a good one. I would compare it to Need for Speed Carbon on the GameCube, which is fun. So that's a good one. The Plan. It's basically just a splinter cell for children, honestly. Like, it really is. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's good, but it's, uh, it's not really, like, as good as splinter cell, I would call it. But, uh, you never know. Narnia 2. Original Narnia. That's a fun one. Neopets. Surprisingly, this is actually a good game. You wouldn't think it, but it's actually quite good. Um, it's like an RPG style game, and it's very fun. Medal of Honor Rising Sun. Medal of Honor Frontline. And Medal of Honor, Greatest Hits Edition, European Assault. So, lots of first-person shooter games in here, which I don't mind, because I enjoy first-person shooters. Alright. Midnight Club. Oh, uh, that's a fun racing game. I really want the, um, a different controller, though, because I want, like, a wireless controller for racing games. I don't know why, I just think it would be more fun. Max Payne. That's a good one. I had that originally. Madagascar. Not going to take the time to play this one. Obviously it sucks. Lord of the Rings. The Third Age. That's a good one. Um, uh, it's basically like a turn-based action strategy game. This is a fun one. I'd highly recommend going to get this one. I have it on GameCube as well. Lord of the Rings. Two Towers. It's a button mashing game, basically. and uh, That's a fun one. Still, though, I, I do really enjoy that one. Lord of the Rings 1. It's kind of lame. I mean, I have two copies of it, so if anybody's interested, sit me up. It's it's kind of like, I don't know, it's just not well made, I guess. It's just, they didn't really put enough time into it. Uh, it reminds me of the, uh, the Hobbit that was released for the GameCube and the PC. It's basically the exact same thing as that, just the Fellowship of the Ring, and it's not very good, said. Peter Jackson's King Kong. That's a fun one. Indiana Jones, Emperor's Tomb. I have not played this one yet. I'm looking forward to, though. Iron Man. The Incredibles. I remember I wanted this when it first came out, but it didn't come out for, like, PC. It only came... I think... It, I believe it came out for Game... No. 
DS. I believe it came out for DS. And uh, I really wanted it, so now I have it. Lego Indiana Jones. Surprisingly very good. It's not good, it's fun. It's really fun. Uh, I like to play it with... Um, with some of my uh, with some of my cousins because it's it's pretty fun playing split screen eco ico whatever you want to call it uh, this is great especially because this one is complete and uh, that's a great one to have <laughs> that's a really fun game I highly recommend this. this is probably one of the better games on the PlayStation 2 Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets beat that in like an hour and a half maybe. Fireblade, that's a good one. Uh, it's, it's a helicopter shooter. It's very fun, and uh, I don't necessarily recommend going to get it, but it's kind of just like one of those ones where you're, if you're bored, you can play it. And uh, Echo, uh, what is it called again? Echo Beyond. I haven't played this one yet, but to my knowledge, it is a horror game. So um, looks fun to me. I mean. The Da Vinci Code. That's a really good one. Um, it's just, it messes with your mind times like 20. This one's complete in the box. I do really enjoy the cover art in that one as well. Mona Lisa. Oh. Final stack. Delta Force Black Hawk Down. Arguably the best sniping game ever created. Not necessarily on the PS2, but on the um, the regular uh, PC. So, that's a great game. I highly recommend this one for PC, not for PlayStation 2, because it's just not as good for PlayStation 2. Call of Duty 3. Had that when it first came out on PC. Call of Duty 2. Breeders' Cup World Championships. It's a racing game. Uh, it's a horse racing game. I like this one because it's made by Bethesda, who makes the like Morrowind and uh, uh, Oblivion and Skyrim and stuff like that. So <laughs> it's it's pretty fun. Ampoli. Nothing to say about that one. Call of Duty: Finest Hour. That one's fun. Uh, I like the vehicles in this game. It's very fun. Bionicle Heroes. Um, that's a fun one. It's not necessarily fun. It's just... It's intriguing, I guess. Hulk. And, finally, Civil War, A Nation Divided. Uh, this is a good one. Uh, basically, it's just the war between the North and the South. And you, uh, you're fighting it in, in it, basically. And it's it's very fun. I highly recommend this game. The guns in it are fantastic. It's just, it's awesome. This one is complete. <laughs> and it's it was pretty expensive when it first came out. It was $40 when it first came out. And uh, so, I got it in a lot. So, I mean, what better can you do? So, that's that. Let's show you a big overview of it. And uh, I guess just enjoy. So, let's do it. So here is my current PlayStation collection. It's pretty darn big. <laughs> and uh, so I promise you guys, for all my retro fans out there, I will show some retro stuff in my next video. And uh, the only reason, I just had this lot, so I had to I had to show it a lot. And uh, so this is for my modern fans. And uh, retro fans, stay tuned. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. And see you next time.